everyone, so this was going to be a general favourites but when I put all my favourites together I realised it was actually all beauty. Um, so it's just going to be beauty favourites for June and I'll get cracking. So as you might know we've had some really gorgeous weather and when the sun comes out and the nice weather is around I kind of go off fake tanning a bit which I know seems a little bit weird but I find that fake tanning does really dry out my skin and when my skin is on show I don't want that horrible scaly dry skin out so I tend to scrub and moisturise and try and get a bit of a natural tan or I do use gradual tanners as well. Two things I've been loving this month is the Soap and Glory Flake Away a good scrub for just getting rid of that dry scaly skin um, I absolutely love this I used it this morning and I was just like I need to include this in my favorites because I've just been loving it I apply mine to dry skin so I apply it before I get in the shower I give myself a really good scrub um, I obviously don't do that every day, I probably do it once or twice a week depending on how my skin feels. Um, and when you rinse it off in the shower it leaves your skin feeling so silky, so smooth. Um, Warren actually notices a big difference and he always likes my skin when I've been using this because it is just so soft and nice and silky. It does have the grapeseed and almond oils in it as well so it does leave kind of a, not an oily residue but it does hydrate your skin as well and obviously that in turn helps nourish your skin and make it feel soft and smooth as well so yeah thumbs up for this one. And then to moisturise my skin after I've scrubbed I've been loving the Dove Purely Pampering Nourishing Lotion. This is the pistachio cream and magnolia one and um, again this just glides on the skin, it soaks in, it doesn't leave any oily residue, it just leaves really nourished smooth skin and oh, I just love the smell of it. A lot of people have said it's too sickly for them but I don't find it sickly at all, I find it really nice, really light, really refreshing and relaxing. The next thing is not much of a surprise, I've been using it for ages, it's the Batiste Dry Shampoo. The only thing is this month I've been using it a lot more. I used to wash my hair every day um, and now I look back and think I was absolutely crazy because there's no way these days I have time to wash and blow dry my hair every day um, and nor do I really need to so dry shampoo has been my best friend. I have gone like four days without washing my hair um, sometimes this month and with dry shampoo it still looks good so yeah this is definitely my saviour. It saves so much time. The next thing I've been loving is actually this Ico Skinny Liquid Eyeliner. Now this was free with Glamour magazine and um, I've used kind of, it's like a felt tip pen liner and I've used a few of these before and not been impressed because they've dried out really quickly, they haven't been very black, they've smudged and I just prefer a gel liner. However this one is amazing, I really love the tip of it, it has a little bit of movement but it's not too bendy that when you press down it goes everywhere, it gives a really nice line, it's really quick and easy, it's a very true black and it doesn't smudge when I curl my lashes either and it pretty much stays put all day so I mean to come free with Glamour magazine for £2 is an absolute steal and I am addicted to this now, I've been using it every day. The next thing I've been loving is the Makeup Revolution palette. This is the Emption palette Essential Day Tonight and it looks like this. I have done a review of it on my blog so I will link that below. But I've just been loving these gold and brown colours just to sweep all over the lid with my Ico liner and mascara and you're good to go. So this has come in really handy for that. And then the last thing that I've been loving is actually the Soap and Glory Archery Pencil. Um, now this is a double ended pencil for your eyebrows so one end has the felt tip and the other end has the crayon end and why I've been loving this is it just it's just so easy to use. I use the crayon end first to kind of get the shape I want and um, fill them in a little bit and then I use the felt tip end just to kind of define a little bit more 
the um, edges of my brows and I really love it. It does give quite a strong effect but I really like strong eyebrows anyway but you could just use the crayon end if you do want a softer look some days I do if I'm not really going anywhere having more of a lazy day I'll just quickly fill them in with the crayon end um, yeah really good color for me I think really good formula last all day I don't find it smudges or anything like that so definitely been loving this now I know this isn't necessarily beauty related, but I thought I would include it anyway. And it's actually a peppermint tea. Um, I actually found out a few months ago that green tea, maybe it was last month, that green tea is really bad for you if you're trying to conceive or are pregnant um, in the first three months. And I didn't know this before. Um, and obviously we are trying to conceive our second child and we have been for a good number of months now. And I was really annoyed that no one ever told me that because I used to drink green tea all day long, probably have like 8 or 10 cups a day and no one ever told me it was bad for you when you're trying to conceive or pregnant. Apparently there is a ingredient in it that is harmful to foetuses. I don't know if it's a coincidence but since March I've had two miscarriages and that was before I knew that I shouldn't be drinking green tea. So anyway, cut a long story short, I stopped drinking green tea but I found I really missed it. I love my hot drinks and in the evening I would drink so many cups, just, you know, it's just almost like a comfort thing for me. So anyway, I switched to peppermint tea because this is caffeine free and it's not harmful if you're trying to conceive and I've just really taken a liking to it and it also really helps with bloating and things like that I've been finding that I wake up with a much flatter tummy no bloating or anything like that so obviously I enjoy that as well so so that is my beauty favourites I hope this was interesting for you guys and you found some new products I think my favourite thing has to be the Soap and Glory Archery. I just love a strong brow. Thanks for watching guys. Let me know what beauty favourites you've been loving this month down in the comments so I can get some new ideas of what to try next. And don't forget to like, subscribe and share with your friends. And I will see you in my next video. Thanks guys. Bye.